Well, the shutdown is changing so many things around us, including some not so common things like the annual goat day at Maryville University. Steve Harris explains what exactly that is and how it looks this year. You got your goat yoga and your goats gorging, but today Maryville University celebrates goat day. We highlight the green management of using goats to eat invasive species and we demo that on campus and then over the years it grew to include um, booths with activities for kids and handouts for adults and uh, highlighting our research that we do. I mean all sorts of things. Normally you'd find a herd of goats on campus. That's what Goat Day was. And then this year the world quit a month ago. No, this year the coronavirus became the troll under the bridge so to speak. But it didn't stop Goat Day. It just changed it a little. Welcome to Virtual Goat Day, goatdaymu.squarespace.com, a website created by the Sustainability 150 class. In three weeks, they build this website. It's incredibly content dense. Full of information about why they do it, how it started, pictures of Goat Day's past, and of course, baby goats. Ah, you must market with baby goats. And all this designed by 13 students and two professors who've never built a website on their own, but wanted to keep their message going in a time of social distancing and stay-at-home orders. These students busted their tails. They worked so hard. There was such a steep learning curve, and um, we were just deeply impressed with the final product. And she says the website is here to stay, even after the goats come back. Steve Harris, News 4.